Hey guys, it's Sash, and today Supercell just released a new game called Clash Royale, uh, which is inspired by Clash of Clans and its characters. So I decided to download it and give it a shot, and uh, so far I've been playing for an hour or two, and I'd say it's a pretty fun game, has a lot of potential, uh, but there are some problems, some flaws to the game that I'll get into uh, talking about soon. So far I've done around 10 battles and uh, I've won something called a crown chest which I have no idea what it is. So I'm going to open it right now live. So it says I got 88 uh, gold resource card. Okay so gems, two gems. Okay nice. Uh, spear goblins, common card. So it's not really that special. Bomber, already have one, not really that special either. Not really special either, a goblin. And uh, a giant, a rare giant card. Hmm, I think I have a normal giant card, so let's see. Or maybe I, maybe it's another giant card. Yeah, it's just another giant card. So as you can see from my cards, uh, I think my best card is the skeleton card, which is a epic card. So there are three types of rarities, the common, uh, the, the rare, and the epic. So the epic cards are the rarest. So I only have one epic card. Uh, that I won during the training mode of the game. So uh, so let's delve into the game. Let's do a battle and I'll show you guys how it works. Uh, I think I got the hang of it after doing a couple of battles and uh, there are some problems. Some of the problems are like low internet connection can really disrupt your gameplay. As, uh, as you guys know in Clash of Clans when there's low connection you get the opportunity of uh, attacking while at low connection. However, if you if you have low connection in this game, then that can really screw you over as you're not going to have enough time to get back into the momentum because this is a really time-based game. It's a PvP time-based game. So I'm here I deployed my P.E.K.K.A., my Knight, and then Archers behind them. So kind of like a tank thing, the, the P.E.K.K.A. and the Knight are uh, what I like to think of are like P.E.K.K.A.s and Barbarian King in the game. So they're pretty good in that term. So here as you can see, uh, I'm lagging low connection and that's gonna be a big issue. Uh, my internet connection is actually perfectly fine right now. So I'm not sure why this is happening. Uh, so I've deployed a giant there, but that's not gonna work. It's not gonna deploy and uh, I'm still lagging. So this is a really big problem. I'm not sure why I'm lagging because my internet connection is actually fine. So, uh, here I'm going to go for that tower over there looks like uh, he's unguarded there so that's perfect here and it looks like I'm going to be able to take out his tower on the right side awesome so it's tied up 1-1 one, one. and uh, let's see <laughs> my P.E.K.K.A and Giant are going for his uh, his tower and he's not doing anything to retaliate so uh, that's unusual but you know at this point of the game a lot of people are are, are noobs so let's see uh, his this balloon dragon thing, whatever it's called. That thing is really good actually. Uh, it's really tough to take down. So here I'm just gonna wait for a few few more few more seconds to spawn up some elixir. He has an archer right there, which is a really bad idea to deploy. You shouldn't really deploy an archer uh, without play, without first summoning some tanks. So here he also sent out his goblins, also a bad idea. And as you can see, I'm uh, spawning all my troops. At the end of the, when there's like one minute left, you can then spawn all your troops on the other side of the base. And here, easy victory. That was pretty easy actually. Uh, not all rage are that easy. Okay, and as, as you guys can see, I just crashed. And this is also another problem, is that sometimes you crash mid battle. Here I was lucky to crash after the game ended. So that was actually a fun first battle, even though there were a lot of complications of low connection and the game crashing. Uh, but this game has a lot of potential and I think uh, if they can fix those issues, it can grow into something better. So here, let's start another battle. As you can see, uh, warning, chest slots are full. You're only given a total of four chest slots, like as you can see on the bottom. And those chests hold uh, cards. And you have to wait a while. You have to wait three hours for each of those chests. For the golden chest, you have to wait eight hours. Uh, so it's kind of like Clash of Clans and the upgrades, how it takes time to upgrade them. So I guess it's a good system of getting people to play again, but then you're also gonna have like impatient people. Okay, so here we have a raid. I'm gonna allow him to send out his troops first here. I use a giant, distract his P.E.K.K.A and his knight, and uh, use my musketeer right behind that giant to kill both of his knight and uh, giant. 
So here I'm going to send out my musketeer and knight and go go after his uh, tower at the left. And now he's going to send out a musketeer right behind that tower, which is a pretty great strategy because uh, you can because the towers have a lot of hit points, you can use them to tank. So here he's going to send out his giant. I'm going to send out a swarm of skeletons and place archers right behind them. Use their range to uh, remove the giants quickly. He's going to use arrows, which is perfect, which is a very smart thing to do against uh, swarms such as skeletons or archers. Uh, those arrows can instantly take them all out. So arrows do splash damage and uh, that was very smart of him to do that. So here I'm going to send out a giant and not a tank. I should have actually waited uh, a bit longer for uh, for more elixirs so that I can send out my musketeer behind that giant. So here I have to wait a bit longer and now I can send out my musketeer. Uh, he sent out a lot of skeletons so I'm, once I have enough elixir, three elixir slots, I can send out that arrow. So I'm waiting to place that arrow right here and boom, all his uh, skeleton traps are gone. <laughs> nice. Uh, so here I'm at low health. Well, let's see, low elixir. Uh, send out my knight, go after his uh, giant, level two giant. He's gonna send out arrows, not really gonna do much to my uh, to my knight. So here he's uh, his giant is constantly attacking, so it's pretty kinda even. And uh, here I'm gonna send out my P.E.K.K.A. And let's see, his tower is at 434 hit points. Gonna send out my musketeer behind that P.E.K.K.A. But he also sent out his musketeer. And uh, I'm going to send out that fireball right after his uh, tower, 270. And now here I'm going to send out my knight, uh, stop his P.E.K.K.A. from targeting my uh, tower. And then I'm going to send out my archers right behind that tower. Also going to send out a swarm of skeletons to quickly remove uh, his giant. But he's taking out a tower, no! So he's in the lead right now. Dang. Uh, okay, have my P.E.K.K.A. and an archer right here, send out my knight. Try to quickly remove that uh, tower. There's only 14 seconds left. No. Okay, I have a fireball uh, that I can use right here to remove that tower and make this into a draw. No, 64 sent out. Okay, awesome. Uh, it's uh, tied right now. Okay, sudden death mode. Let's get it. I'm gonna send out my skeleton, skeletons on his skeletons. Gonna send out my knight. He's gonna throw arrows on my. Uh, on my tower not a very smart thing to do he's gonna send out fireball on my tower also not a very smart thing to do uh, gonna send out my P.E.K.K.A here and let's see I have a fireball okay gonna send out my giant use it to tank and then I'm gonna send out my musketeer soon enough let's send out the skeleton skeletons can take out giants very quickly gonna send out my knight right behind that uh, giant and gonna also send out my archers no, should have sent them out right behind the giant, not in front of it. Uh, okay, let's see, Pekka's, and I'm gonna use those arrows to quickly take out his skeletons, come on. Awesome, and then send out my skeletons. Come on, go, go, go. Go. Knight, take out his knight. Oh no, it's match over, so I guess it's a draw. <laughs> that was very good actually, this guy, uh, I, I give him props. That was a very good match, so it was a draw. So I think this game has a lot of potential, uh, but there are several technical issues that need to be resolved first, especially the low internet connection error that lags you and places you in a disadvantage by allowing the opponent to repeatedly attack you while you can do nothing about it. <laughs> Another big issue is that there's no matchmaking system. So if you're paired up against a higher level player with better cards, then you have very little chance of winning. And another major issue is gemmers. I faced a guy earlier who probably spent over $100 already buying a lot of rare cards and he was able to easily overpower everything I could do just because he had the better cards, uh, better rarer cards. Uh, so I can see that being a huge problem to this game because, because it would then turn it into a pay to win game. And we all know those types of games don't really work out in the end. So that's my review and currently with the technical issues aside, I give this game a 3 star out of 5 because it's a decent game and has potential but I'm really not a fan of a game where you can just buy your way to the top. I know Clash of Clans is also kind of like that but at least Clash of Clans has many other ways of enjoying the game 
This game doesn't have that. It's very one dimensional and it's also not fair when you're like a Town Hall 5 player and you're paired up against the Town Hall 10 player. I'm speaking in terms of Clash of Clans so you guys understand what I mean. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I may do more Clash Royale videos in the future if it gr grows in popularity. Uh, we'll see. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Later. Mm -hmm.